I did mention um, previously, like the last stream or like the stream two streams ago, that like the best compliment I ever got was um, this dude always comes in clutch. See, like a lot of people get a lot of compliments, but the compliments I get are like super high quality. Like there's a lot of meaning behind them. I don't get very many. You know, it's like once every couple of years or so, right? But whenever I do get a compliment, it's it's ridiculous. It's like top tier. Like if you got compliments, like this is stuff that people don't even realize are compliments. Like they don't think to say this sort of thing like, oh, you're beautiful or whatever. No, this is like people will say this only in moments where it's actually meant to happen. Where the dude is like, bro, you always come in so clutch. Like nobody's going to say that unless there's some context to it. And it really, really makes you appreciate that. But that's not the best compliment anyone ever gave me. And this is what I mean by, like, you're going to know exactly what I mean by, like, people don't even realize they're complimenting you when they say this. Um, I was with uh, I was with this dude, a.k.a. Kalani. Um, I was talking to him about, like, uh, photography and stuff like that. And um, Ishan comes up to us and he's like, oh, you guys are talking about, like, this kind of, like, work and stuff? And uh, he, like, tells AK, because he knows me better, and he's, like, introducing me to AK, basically, uh, introducing us to each other, because we hadn't seen each other in so many years. And uh, he was like, yeah, Afraz does this, like, photography stuff. And, uh, yeah, Afraz will never work for anyone, ever. And it's like, that's crazy that, like, that's the first thing he said about me. Like, that's how he introduced me. What an incredible compliment. That's real shit. Everyone's out here like, oh, meet my friend. He's the chillest dude ever. Nah, meet my friend Afraz. He'll never work for anyone but himself. Like, holy shit, dude. What a way to be introduced. I like the sound of that. It's uh, like, and, and I do resonate deeply with that. I don't want to work for anyone else. I don't think I ever will work for anyone else. I'll make a point of it. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend my time trying to help somebody else achieve their dream when I could be working on my dream. As far as I'm concerned, it's like my thought process is: if I have a dream, then what else is there to do? There's nothing else to do, right? That's just my thought process. Like, oh, I could hop back on my phone and scroll through TikTok. No, wait, but why? Is that helping me achieve my dream? I, I could be doing all this stuff, but there's nothing else to do. I don't know. That's just the way I think about it. But I, I think he's right. I will never work for anyone. Or at least that's what I think. That's how I, I, feel, I feel that way. 